case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of Moore, stating that the prosecution had the burden of proving every element of the charged offense, and Moore's failure to testify or produce evidence did not relieve the prosecution of this responsibility. The court also affirmed that Moore's proximity to the narcotics in the apartment, where he was not proven to be a tenant or regular resident, was insufficient evidence of possession. In a grand stand for justice, the Supreme Court vacated the judgment of the Court of Appeals, annulling Moore's previous conviction. The case was remanded back to the Court of Appeals, with clear instructions to determine whether the wrongful admission of hearsay evidence was a harmful error. The dissenting justices advocated for a detailed oral argument instead of a summary reversal, illustrating the complexity of this case where the right to cross-examination was questioned for preserving the integrity of the court procedures. Thus, Moore v. United States became a landmark case, highlighting the importance of verifiable evidence in establishing guilt and the necessity for the prosecution to prove beyond reasonable doubt every element of the allegation. The case emphasized the essentiality of the defendant's right to object to hearsay evidence and have it examined for admissibility, restoring faith in the court's commitment towards a fair and just trial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.